In this video, we're going to introduce you to the Skywatch BL400. This is a little portable weather station that measures wind speed, direction, temperature, humidity and pressure. And then hooks it up to your phone via Bluetooth. So first up, we'll open up the unit just so you can have a quick look. And then it comes in a nice little tin case. Also includes a short instruction manual of how to hook it up via Bluetooth. The unit itself. USB cable for charging. Little stand and also a strap. Your first step when you're going to set up the unit is to download the app. So we have an iPhone here, so we'll go to the App Store. On the App Store, you'll need to search for BL Skywatch. So then bring up the app. I've already pre installed it so we don't have to wait for it to download. Simply hit open. Your next step will be go through to set up the settings. So you can you have a nickname for the station. In our particular case, we've called it Instrument Choice. I've put in my email address. You can also set it up to share with relevant third party uh, social media such as Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Or you can set it to set, set it up with the Skywatch community. You also then set up your units. In our particular case, we've done it with SI units, so meters per second, degrees Celsius, hectopascals, and meters. Uh, we've also updated it to have a one minute chart. You can change this to be more rapid or less rapid depending on your preferences. In this instance, we'll leave it at a minute. Your next step will get the unit, be to get the unit to pair. All you need to do that is make sure your Bluetooth is on on your phone. So we'll just do that on the iPhone here just to make sure. Um, so as you can see, under Bluetooth, Bluetooth is on. So we'll go back into our app. So all we'll do under the app is we'll just allow it to search. We'll pop it up, pushing the push button to start. As you can see, it now connects. It's now reporting your current conditions. Obviously, being inside, there's no wind speed to take care of. But if I Flow on the unit, it'll give you a reading. You can then also go into the various different parameters to see what they're charting over time. Once you're in this screen for wind, it'll also give you a direction. You can also do a history function, so that'll allow you to track your chart over time. Because it's set it as a minute, this won't show up for a little while, but as time progresses, uh, and more, to more data it begins to appear, that will slowly start to show. You can also map where you are, so if you want to report those kind of things you can do so. And you can also have more sensors listed, so at this stage we've only got the one, but you can do multiple. And then if you need to change any settings, you can do so by going into the settings menu and just changing it. So just for reference, we'll just change it to a 10 second time span. So then that will now update every 10 seconds. So it's a pretty straightforward little unit to use. So if you have any questions on this, please feel free to give us a call on 1300 737 871. Thanks for watching.